the reason it's called Stratosphere Blues and what really kind of started it was like somebody uh, told me about this old song called Stratosphere Boogie Boogie or something. It, yeah. What am I thinking? Jimmy, Jimmy Bryant? Bryant Speedy Western. Yeah. And there's a 12 string guitar, but it's tuned where all the pairs of strings. Like usually on a 12 string, they're all the same note, just like, you know, six, six notes. This is like each pair of strings is tuned to like major thirds and fourths or fifths or something. And so each pair of strings is a different harmony anyways. So when I heard this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get a guitar that's tuned like this. So I just bought this old ovation off like eBay or some shit, no, off Reverb, and brought it to my luthier and just said, make this like in stratosphere tuning. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to put it into that tuning. I just was like, take this guitar and make it a stratosphere guitar. So I have this ovation at home that's all in that tuning, and I just started playing it, and that's how that first guitar part sort of came to me. And I was like, whoa, it sounds so sick. Just one guitar, but each note is like a harmony with itself. So, you know, started messing around with that. And then what happened was I, I had the kind of picking pattern going and I recorded that. And then I was listening to it and I started whistling this pattern, you know. And then I, I like recorded the whistle. And then I was like, oh wait, what if it wasn't a whistle and that was words? And then I just started figuring out words that fit in that melody. And then that's how I made the song. Yeah. Cool. Stratosphere Boogie? Yeah, from Jimmy Bryant and Speedy West. I think so. I think that's what it's called. Stratosphere yeah. Boogie? It is. It's Stratosphere Boogie. It is. Yep. It's badass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is one guitar, like... It's one guy playing, but it sounds like two. <laughs> it sounds like three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the first times too that you recorded <laughs> with the studio being Yeah, it was. It was like... It's like number two or something. <laughs> it's like we got the studio done at my house and it's one of the first songs that I made up there. And I just made it like messing around by myself. Like I played the guitar and like I said, I, then I sang and then I like played the Nord and everything. And, and I thought it was gonna just be a demo, like we would remake the song, but when we got around to making the record, it was like, I think Brandon was just like, man, you know, this also doesn't have to, this could just be the one. It sounds really good. I don't know why we don't just use this. Yeah. And it was like, oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> you know? yeah. So I just like, fuck it, it's done. Every time I see the sun <laughs> It's like my life has just begun Like my life has just begun Every time I hear your voice It leaves me with no other choice Leaves me with no other choice And if you leave me for the moon Another day Coming soon, another day is coming soon. When the wind comes sailing through, and the sky comes down so blue, will your will to love me still remain? Every time I see the sun, it's like my life has just begun. Every time I hear your voice, you leave me with no other choice. 
Watching Justin like roll down that tiny roll and it somehow gap the entire flat back into the plant. Like what the fuck? I'm like, how do you even get enough speed? Like, yeah. it's like a three foot ramp and a six foot gap. Dude, and he went <laughs> air the entire flat. Like, like man, that's crazy. It's fun to like slappy and then go off with the other thing and then also Play in this creek and fish, and we used to oh, pick underneath this motherfucker all night. Fuck yeah. This was this, this, dad is, this is where I learned how to pick. I got my first guitar when I was like my first real guitar when I was like uh, like an Alvarez. Yeah. For my seventh birthday, they had a little party for me. Actually, dude, if you go up, if you look at go up and look at the house. Like Brad Lasko, my uncle Brad, he used to he was a banjo picker. And he used to live right there. Up, up at the house, dude, if you go up there, it says meet me at the creek along the entire side of the house because people would come here looking for him and he'd be down here picking or fishing or something. And so like, you know, if he had to sign for a fucking package or something, he just painted meet me at the creek along his whole house. <laughs> That's the genesis, dude, all right, I figured it out. I want to eat that. I love that. But yeah, like this pavilion is, is literally fucking historical. Man, this, this is a great title. Look at this sign. Everyone brings that to the Some by coming, some by leaving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, I, I learned how to play right here. This is where they get spotted by. I mean, that's like, it's kind of one of the things people, like, if you know what you know, but the most people know. I'm reaching out for
hardware store. We used to steal candy. We, got, we would like have someone distract the guy and we'd like steal a bunch of airheads and shit. <laughs> and then we'd sit down here and eat them and skate. It was the distraction. Yeah, like, you want to find a fucking skirt and we ate this like not or This is my shitty turd. We used to just call it the spot. Let's go spot. So your address is 420. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and you drove by on the way here. Uh, I, I don't know who lives there now, so I don't know if we can go there. I mean, I can take you to show you guys, but I don't know if we can go. But it's. That's like the tweaker house. Uh, I was on the frozen list. It's been bad. And I, yeah, I was like, so that's what I'm back on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, fucking always on the frozen list. <laughs> yeah. This shit on the wall right here is Chelsea Hills gum. Uh, she was like breaking up with my brother and she was all crying and sitting here like putting her gum on the wall. I remember that shit's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It's all yeah, that's hard. Yeah. But the bench might work. Oh yeah. You be an underdog, Dante. Don't we? You can like zoom out and out there. <laughs> Possibilities. I see a possible angle. Dude, one time Aaron punched me in the face on that court right there. Because we were playing basketball. And, like, somebody threw the ball, like, at my knees. And I missed it. And it went out of bounds. And I was like, oh, fuck. And next thing I know, I just got rocked. I was like, what the fuck, dude? The second part, the I believe part is, like, uh, just, you know, I got a lot of friends who like struggle you know mm -hmm. one way or another and I was just thinking about all of them that you know it's like I believe in you you know I believe you could get sober or I, be I believe you could you know figure out how to take care of your kids or I believe you could you know do whatever you got to do you know so I just wanted to write a song for those folks who I was thinking about like you can do it man you know it's cool. Captain Billy getting hammered? Captain Billy getting hammered, fucking steering, and that little, uh, like, sway, you know, with the waves and shit. Oh, man, that's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, you drink, it's gotta be the other side, yeah. have a certain kind of shoe to go play. <laughs> I think that's acceptable. I mean, that's like, like skating. You can't yeah. fucking skate in boots. Yeah. yeah <laughs> or that's a novelty. Like, damn, that guy can fucking nolly, nolly flip and fuck cowboy boots? Like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. I've know. seen Jack nolly flip and Timberlands. <laughs> like, yeah, crazy. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> The shit out yeah. of crazy. And like probably also filming with some fuck you know the BX. Like. <laughs> that actually would look so sick. Jackson's <laughs> got the style for that, bro. And then like it's nothing. You know, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, dude. He's so weird. He always used to be like so good at Switch. Yeah. Like he would just like switch back and forth. Like, what are you doing? Like it's just so weird. Dude, he's fucking good. Like the fucking sketchy fucking burglar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the green pickle burglar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 
<laughs> All right, Jason. How are Billy's acting His skills? arm skills are incredible. <laughs> He's I've never seen anything like that. Um, <laughs> and? Natural. He's hit and your hand skills. Every time. Yes. And your acting skills. I could... He didn't know I could also be like a hand model, an arm model, a blow, 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 blower. Boat blower. Boat blower. Boat blower. Yes. So many opportunities with this guy. We <laughs> call it a wrap. Thanks, guys. Thank y'all so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Best video ever. <laughs> it's gonna be. Can't wait to see. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this little shit has been like, oh god, I can't believe we're looking at this. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Awesome yeah, work. Thank you. 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 Thank you.